It still amazes me that we live in a time of such division. When will the Negro man not be divided from his brother? Simply by drops of blood or the weight of a few ounces of silver. One drop of blood has always been the marker, let alone the weight of a family's finances. You may be a bit more optimistic than our current moment in history. A season of change is upon us. What we need is a push. Dynamic leaders willing to serve, united for creative action, to see the brotherhood of the college man. There's a type of inspiration that the university cannot give. This, this is what the young Negro man needs. It is indisputable that this idea is needed by Negro students everywhere. Our community doesn't need another status club. We need a brotherhood of high-minded, serious thinking, noble living men, a fraternity. Very, very well said, my friend. Lead us, mold us of opinion. We should discuss this with Frank. You two always find a way to leave me out of things. <laughs> I'd say the exact opposite. Be assured, we do nothing vital without you. Your friend here is contemplating the possibilities and probabilities of creating a fraternal organization. Really? I believe we have what we need to inspire in this moment. The question is whether or not this would promote a sacrificial spirit or one of selfishness. What of it, Oscar? Now, we simply need to speak with our advisor. Professor Just has already challenged us with our common vision. Professor Jess, the three musketeers, you found me here yet again. We've completed our research and we're ready to take the next step. Glad to hear it. I need something to distract me now that my theatrical days are behind me. Are you ready to change history? We, we are. What are your founding principles? We want to attract men with sterling character, pure in their thoughts and acts. Men who complete any projects that they may begin. Men with an obligation to serve their community. Men dedicated to manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. How about the motto? Yes, it is the one thing that's been burning in our spirit since we first considered this. Every man must be worthy from the point of scholarship. They must have courage. They must have a spirit of cooperation. But above all else, they must be a friend. There's nothing more important than friendship. Friendship is the closest affinity that people can have on earth. Friendship is essential to life. No, much more than that. Friendship is essential to the soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm.